Hi, this is Paul from Music. Let's take an in-depth look at how the audio recorder works in Music Web and learn how we can use it in more creative ways. It may seem simple, but this embedded recorder is probably one of the greatest features of Music Web, especially for music teachers. In combination with projects, it provides everything you need to recreate interactivity with your students during online lessons and opens the door to collaborative music making experiences. If you want to learn more about this topic, I wrote an article for NAFME, the American National Association for Music Education, where I described three creative ideas for online music lessons using Music Web. The link is in the description of the video and it comes with exercise notation as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how to try these, these ideas with your students. But let's jump back to the recorder. First of all, you may need to give authorization to Music Web to access your microphone in order to use the audio recorder. In some browsers, a pop-up will ask for this authorization the first time you try to use the recorder, but if you don't see anything and you have trouble using the feature, take a look at the accessibility settings of your internet browser to authorize the microphone. One quick side note, if you want, you can use an external microphone instead of the built-in microphone of your computer, this is what I'm doing at the moment, in order to get a better quality during your recordings. Using the recorder is fairly straightforward. Click on the recorder button to start the take, wait until the end of the countdown and start playing. When you are done, click on the button again to stop the recording. This is already quite useful because if you work within a project, then all the members of this project will get instant access to this recording, which makes it an interesting tool for music education. Teachers can ask their students to record themselves during an online lesson and thus avoid the latency issues with Zoom or Teams, while still providing some form of live interactivity. But let's make things more interesting. If you provide students with a playback or a click track, you can ask them to use headphones to listen to the playback and record themselves on top of it with the recorder. All they need to do is first make sure the correct inputs and outputs are selected in their audio settings. In this case, we want the input routed to the internal or external microphone, but the output routed to the headphones. Then they must start the recorder and after the countdown, start the accompaniment or click track. When they stop the recorder, they will be able to listen back to their performance without the context of the audio. And it's also an interesting exercise uh, to practice for yourself. What's more, different children will be able to uh, listen to the performances of the other uh, students in the class. Okay, let's take this principle one step further by unplugging the headphones. We can actually have different people record a piece together from a distance by overdubbing a new part on top of a previous recorded take. For this to work, you will need to make sure the original audio bleeds into the microphone when you record the new part, hence the need not to use headphones. This idea is one of the three creative strategies that I wrote about in my paper for NAFME and if you're interested I invite you to click on the link in this article to download three easy rhythm exercises for children that apply this concept. It comes with the rhythm notation as well as step-by-step -step guidelines on how to try it with your students. There's also my more advanced polyrhythm challenge, which you can try alone or as a group to demonstrate this principle. Uh, but that's only if you're very confident in your sense of rhythm and you think you can handle it. Great, hopefully this gave you a more in-depth knowledge of how the audio recorder works in Music Web and how you can use it in a creative way. In the last video of this tutorial series, we will explore the multi-platform workflows with both the Music App and Music Web.